Welcome back to Surprise Surprise. Please give a round of applause for my next guests, Nick Ward and Peter Crompton. <laughs> Welcome to the show, gentlemen. How yes. lovely to meet you. So, how do you know each other? Well, I was headmaster of a school in Suffolk for a number of years, and Peter was a very distinguished director of music. Aha, uh -huh. and how long were you the director of music for? 38 years. 38 years. And I've just retired at the end of the summer term. Nick, what sort of teacher was he? One word, inspirational. Really? Great he teacher. was that teacher that they will remember. Absolutely. Tell me a bit about the choir, then. What were they like? Well, over 100 pupils, uh, aged from 11 to 18. There is also a connection between the choir and Stoke City Football Club, isn't there? Ah, my beloved Stoke City, yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I take congregational practice once a week. That's the whole school. Mm. So, one congregational practice I decided that I'd teach them Delilah, which, of course, is the Stoke City It is anthem. indeed. Nick, tell me why you wrote to me. Well, I think for somebody to have worked in the same school uh, and inspired so many children for that length of time, it deserves real recognition. And I wanted to give uh, Peter a retirement gift that he would remember. OK, and that's what we did, didn't we? Absolutely, yes. Peter thought he was being filmed for a documentary, but little did he know I'd enlisted the help of singer and TV presenter Ali Jones to give him the ultimate send-off. Hi, I'm Ali Jones, and today I'm back at school to surprise a very inspirational teacher. Nick, really good to see you. You wrote to us, uh, surprise, surprise, to tell us about a, a very special man. I did indeed, yes, Peter Crompton. When Peter retires at the end of the summer term, he'll have taught at the Royal Hospital School for 38 years. Wow. But really, that's just his day job. But where he really comes into his own is inspiring boys and girls to sing. Peter has one lifelong ambition that we might just be able to help him with. I was chatting to him one day and saying, Peter, you know, you've played these classical organs all around the country. What would you really like to play? He said, Mighty well, it's a, a Blackpool Tower Ballroom. When I was 17, he took me on a date to the Tower Ballroom. He said, you're going to love this, it's amazing. Wait till you see the guy coming out of the floor on the Wurlitzer. He absolutely loves that venue. Well, I suppose I should now go and uh, meet the choir, because they're in on this as well, aren't they? Absolutely, absolutely. yes, yes. Yep. <laughs> He's obviously inspired you two to sing. How come? He's really energetic. It yeah. gives you a lot of confidence as well. It makes you feel good about yourself. Uh, should we go and uh, surprise yeah. him? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. OK, let's go. Yeah, they sound brilliant, don't they? He has no idea I'm here to surprise him. Let's do this. Peter Compton, surprise, surprise. <laughs> Hello, Sillaria. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Ah, I'm, I'm just staggered. I've spoken to so many people. They all say that you're a massive inspiration. Is that right, guys? Yeah. That you make music and singing fun. And you're a fantastic musician, organ being the uh, instrument of that's choice, yes, of course. That's my Is there a particular organ, I don't know, maybe in the north of England, uh, in a building where they do a bit of dancing that you'd like to play? I'd love to play on the Tower Ballroom in Blackpool. Oh, would you? Yeah. Well, uh, soon you'll be able to say that's an instrument I have had a go on. Oh. Because as part of this surprise, surprise, we're taking you up to Blackpool. You're going to start your retirement in Blackpool. No, How's that? That's wonderful. And you get to play the Wurlitzer organ. 
Wow, that's fantastic. To come up through the floor at such an iconic place, known all over the world. Incredible, incredible. Can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to it. Just appeared out of the blue. Well, you, you could see from my face. I hadn't <laughs> a clue what was going on. I was, I was totally shocked. Well, let's welcome the man who gave Peter the day he'd never forget. It's Alec Jones. Take a seat. Alan, welcome. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for having me. Well, thank you for helping out as well. It was very important. His dedication yes. has been so impressive, hasn't it? Oh, you, you can tell the pupils absolutely love him. You know, they hang on his every word. And it was a real privilege to see him in action. Well, Peter has one instrument that holds a special place in his heart, and that's the Blackpool Tower Wurlitzer. So let's see what happened when I sent Peter to begin his retirement in the Vegas of the North, Blackpool. <laughs> So I'm in Blackpool to make Peter Crompton's dream of playing that famous Wurlitzer organ in the tower come true. The only problem is, I can't find him anywhere. Jeez. Jeez. Oh, Hold on tight now, here we go. <laughs> ah, there you are. What have you been up to? Enjoying the start of my retirement. Well, listen, you can uh, carry on with your ice cream and relax. You and I have got a little meeting with a Wurlitzer. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Oh, we'll okay. see you there. Thank Good you. luck. So I head off with Peter to the famous Tower Ballroom, home to his beloved Wurlitzer organ. So this is, uh, this is it. It's amazing, isn't it? Isn't it just? I think yeah. it's probably one of the greatest rooms it's in the world. Icon, you know? It's an iconic place. Of course, it's not just about the ornate roof and the amazing dance floor. There's uh, the organ, of course. It's time for you to get up close and personal with it. Come on. Uh, until you Can't play the world's most iconic yeah. organ. Yeah, it's fantastic. I can't believe it. It's really, I really can't believe it. It's oh, amazing. Bless you. It is going to be amazing. amazing. It's amazing. Um, go get yourself ready. Come on. Thank you. As Peter goes off to prepare for his big moment, we've got another surprise in store. His friends and family are here to watch him perform. Are you looking forward to this? Certainly am. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It'll be fantastic. How do you think he'll get on? We'll do really well. He's going to be so chuffed by it all. I mean, he's played in these other organs all around the world, but never something like this. Right, let's see how he gets on. I'll go and introduce him. Please put your hands together for the organist extraordinaire, Peter Crompton! When I looked around, I saw all these faces. I thought, goodness me, <laughs> I'm going to get this right. <laughs> to get the opportunity to be there up front, it was wonderful. A bit showbiz, razzmatazz. That's what I love. Fantastic. You know, there are moments in your life when you have to pinch yourself. I shall never forget it. Really wonderful. That looks absolutely fantastic. Was it good fun? Great fun. Marvellous. I really enjoyed it. And the surprises aren't quite over yet, are they? They're not. Uh, we have one more surprise for you. And uh, this is a choral performance like uh, none other. And, and this will really set you off on your retirement, it really will. It certainly will. Over his 38-year career, Peter's inspired an incredible number of people. And despite living all over the world, they still wanted to sing for him tonight. Surprise, surprise, Peter. Here are some of your pupils and colleagues performing a Stoke City favourite just for you. Have a look at this.
song choice? It was absolutely the right song choice. Absolutely Good. fantastic. I'm, I'm completely amazed. And I remember all their faces and, of course, so, some of them are getting quite old now, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a bit worrying. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good luck with your retirement and thank you, and thank so you for much. being here. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it again for Alec Jones, Nick Ward and Peter Stockton. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.